what up YouTube uh, just decided to actually do a little review on uh, my old subwoofer um, old but not really that old it's been used for a little bit but it's not be it's mint condition uh, so I figured why not since I have it do a little review been keeping it in the box the Orion came in but anyways here we have massive audio Hippo XL 15152 dual voice coil, three inch voice coils, uh, direct lead. Thing is stiff, stiff as hell. Sub is definitely a beast. I, I, I like it a lot actually. Uh, it's got a narrow, high uh, surround. It's pretty beefy. See in here if I can get a good. We got dual stitch tinsel leads. Bolt down spider. Or bolted, screwed down, whatever you want to call it. We got good ventilation in here. Ah, uh, the magnet shit. I forget what size the magnet is. I think it's uh like 380 ounce double stack. Gonna flip the little skirt down here. See, ya. I'm not gonna bother taking it off all the way, but we got a cast aluminum basket, I believe. Let's see if I can get the booty shot here. Oh, come on! Oh, I one hand. It thing's heavy as hell. It's like 56 pounds, I think. There we go. So it's definitely a beast of a sub. Two two thousand RMS, four thousand max. Um, I definitely right at the end of my use when I got my DD one, I reset the gain on my RP amp that uh, Real Rob has now. Uh, shout out Real Rob. Anyways, my RP I realized I was not getting the most out of it while I was using it for the majority of the time I had this sub, which was about a year, give or take, a month or so. Um, so once I retuned the amplifier, this thing was bumping, uh, barely ever smelled, and uh, it got down, definitely. Sometimes I wonder if uh, the HCCA is even doing the amount of work that this sub was, and I contemplate putting it back in there. Um, I don't I don't really know what to do. <laughs> you got this beautiful sub sitting here. I mean, look at that thing. Isn't that sexy? You just want to, like touch it <laughs> uh, I got it just sitting here and I'm not doing anything with it for some reason no one wants to buy it I don't know what the hell is wrong with people but I mean come on look at that thing so that's the massive audio hippo 15 for you guys just uh, just a quick little quick little update or not update a little review in case anyone's ever thought about going with this brand I can say I definitely recommend the sub the hippo uh, and probably the Gordo, uh, th those two. I had the Sumo as well, which was very nice, and I sold that. That thing got down quite a bit. Um, but yeah, this, that Hippo is definitely, it's definitely nice. I was, when I got the HCCA, I was going to just get a second or a second and a third one of these and another amplifier or two, a couple more RPs, you know. Um, but they jacked the price up to like almost $700 a piece or something like that. Uh it's ridiculous. I mean, you can still find them for two hundred ninety-eight or three hundred, three hundred and fifty. I've seen them for all different prices. I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but on the Massive Audio website, they're going for like seven ninety-nine. So they're they're not a cheap woofer at all. Um, I guess I. Let's see. I can't think of anything else. I'm missing it. Let's see if I can get a good shot of the coil in there. <clears throat> Better lighting this way. No. Black, black coil. Oh, yeah. I just want to set this thing up again. I really do. Boom. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Kevlar. Kevlar enforced. Non-pressed paper cone. Uh, dual stitch, red stitching. I like that. It looks good. Uh, that's Kevlar and carbon fiber. This thing is beast. All right, y'all, I'm out. Just uh, let me know if anyone wants to buy this, by the way. It is for sale, so...
could work that out later. 